entire YouTube banner needed a serious update. So I thought I'd bring you along to show you how to design your own pro looking YouTube banner in Photoshop. Hello, I'm Orit from Esatino Media, helping you create profitable content, including this Photoshop YouTube banner tutorial. Your YouTube banner is prime real estate for your channel, and it needs to really quickly communicate what it is that your channel is about and also give people a reason to take action on your channel. So you can see here on this banner, we have a call to action to a free guide, but you could also put a call to action to subscribe or check out your website. So I'll show you how to design a banner like this one and how it all comes together in the end with this call to action, getting them to click on the link that this arrow is pointing to directly. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is open up Photoshop and go to file new and put in these exact dimensions for your YouTube banner. So it's going to be two five six zero pixels for the width and make sure it's selected to pixels and the height is going to be one four four zero and you can leave everything else as is that's fine we're going to hit create and it's going to make this shape right here i'm just going to hit Control minus on my keyboard to zoom out so we can see the whole thing better okay now the first step is you want to have a background now I put a gradient on this banner. You don't have to do that. You could do like a solid shape, but let me show you how to do the gradient. So you want to come down to this icon right here, which is to fill a new layer. You're going to click on that and hit gradient and you can choose whatever color you like here. So, you know, if you want to do, let's say red, Actually, let's do like a blue gradient. So I'm going to select that color, hit OK, and then select this color, double click on it. And then I can drag it to something like that. And you see how it's not filling up that other side. There's a reason for that. It's because this right here, this layer is has full opacity, but this one's transparent. So we just need to bring that opacity all the way up. I've just clicked and dragged it. So you can see we have a nice blue gradient right here. And in order to, you can leave it like this, or you can play around with the angling of the gradient like so. I'm just going to hit OK. That looks nice. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is put your name on the banner. So your channel name, or it could even be a logo. So if we go back here, you'll see we have a logo. And to make it stand out nicely against this gradient, we just put like a black rectangle shape. And let's create some text as well. So this text is, you want it to communicate what it is that your channel's about. And you could also include how often you release videos. Just to let people know that it is an active channel and there's always new stuff to to indulge in on your youtube channel let's say you don't have a logo and i'm just going to put my channel name all right and then we're going to go to this character icon here if you don't see this a it just means you need to go to window and then character so that will bring up the character uh, menu that's missing over here. We don't have it selected, so let's select all of that. Drag this so that it's a little bit bigger. If you do have a logo, by the way, to bring that in, you go to File, Embed, Place Embedded, and then go find your logo on your computer. And let's just say it's this one, and you can easily just kind of resize it and bring it into place. How do we know where to place things, right? Because we wanna create a banner that fits all devices, right? It looks one way on desktop, one way on mobile, and you can see here, everything is placed in the middle. And that's because I have a template that you see here that it's kind of like an overlay that's placed nicely on top. So we can see this is what's going to be shown on mobile, all of the important stuff in there. And then we have just like decoration on the ends here. And this call to action only needs to be shown on desktop because the links that sit below your YouTube banner are only shown in the desktop version anyways. So it's okay that it's off to the side like that. So in order to get this overlay, all you need to do, really simple, go to Google, type in Photoshop 
template YouTube banner, all right? And then go to images and you can select any one of these pictures here. I'll just click on this one. And this is basically an image. So I'm gonna save the image and I'm gonna put it in the downloads section so that when we come in here, file, place embedded, I'm gonna find it in my downloads again and double click on it to bring it in and hit the check mark. What we can do is just lower the opacity off to the side here. I, I can now use this as a template to know where I should be placing things. So my channel name is placed in the, in the correct area. I'm just gonna hide that layer right there. Let's get rid of that right there. Okay, so we have channel name. I'm gonna select the move tool. I'm gonna select the move tool, just kind of place it in the center over here right and i think it will look nice with just like like a white bar behind it so that it stands out more so let's i went to the rectangle and i created i clicked and dragged to create that shape i'm gonna fill it with white all right and then move this below below the channel name so that it stands out nicely and then I'm gonna select the channel name layer just to center it within the bar. And I can also use the, the keys on my keyboard to move it up and down into place. So the other thing I wanna do is select the text tool. I'm gonna click again, and now we're gonna say something about our channel. So create, create a statement that has very few words in it that instantly tells people what your channel is about. Let's say you have a fitness channel. So you could say something like new nutrition and, and don't worry, we'll fix the, uh, the font and all. Nutrition and fitness videos every week, let's just say. So right away, it's saying two things. One, the type of videos that you release and two, the fact that you release them every week, which is really good. So I'm gonna drag uh, my cursor to select all of that. Come back here to the character tool. And for contrast, since this is like a bold font, I'm going to select a more thin font. So let's do something like condensed medium. You can also play around with the types of fonts. Let's do something like open sounds, regular. And I don't want it to be all caps, so I just need to deselect the all caps. It looks like I typed it in all caps, so let's retype it here. Uh, new nutrition and fitness videos every week. All right, and let's make this smaller. So again, I can come to the characters or I can come up here. I'm showing you guys a bunch of different options. There's like a billion different ways to do the same thing in Photoshop, so you'll get to learn how to get at those different features from different places. And I'm gonna click, make sure your move tool is selected, click and drag that into place, move that up with the cursor. And let's see what it looks like. It needs to stand out more, so I'm gonna maybe select this color. Yeah, white looks way better. Or you could play around with the colors too, right? Something like, I think this color looks pretty nice stands out. All right, we can make this italicized too. Okay, and you always want to come in here, put your overlay on to make sure all of the important stuff is in the middle. Now, if you had an image, you could put it off to the side. So that might mean making the text a little bit smaller. It really depends what, what you have to work with. Uh, you can see here on the original banner, we put an image of ourselves, as well as some other icons that kind of go with the theme of our channel, create profitable content. So you could do the same thing. I'm going to go to file, place embedded. Let's see what we have in downloads. I don't have anything fitness related, but let's pretend this is a fitness related icon. And I'm gonna click and drag the corners to make it smaller. Click and move that into place right here. 
let's pretend it's like a dumbbell or something. And you can find good icons and images on pixabay.com or flaticon.com. Just make sure you read the text. On Pixabay, pretty much all of the images there, you can. it's free for commercial use and you don't have to give attribution or credit, but flat icon you do. So all you need to do is just put it in the description if you're downloading uh, icons from flat icons. So, all right, we have an image there which will show on desktop but not necessarily on mobile, which is fine. It's just for decoration. And let me show you how to do the call to action here. So again, it's just a text and we're gonna say, subscribe to channel, right? Or maybe it's something like grab a free guide or maybe it's something like check out our new course, visit or join the academy, join our Facebook group, right? It really depends on your goals. So let's just assume we're focusing all of this on subscribing to the channel. I'm going to make it a dark color because that stands out nicely and just play around with the, the fonts. Definitely want to make it thicker here. And this right here adjusts the spacing between these two lines. So I'm just gonna click and drag to give more spacing, right? Something like that. And then you could bring in an arrow. So you see here, this arrow, I just basically grabbed it again from like a royalty free site. So to find that arrow, we can head over back to Google, type in arrow clip art hit enter. You know, most of these will be okay for downloading, but just to be sure, go to, oh no, actually tools, go to usage rights, creative commons, which basically means creative commons gives you the license to be able to use any of these images right here. So let's see which one, something like this, and then flip it around would be nice. So I'm going to right click, hit save image as, save that. And let's come back in here, place embedded, double click on that. All right, and then to roll it around, because we want it to point down, right? I'm gonna rotate it. So I just see my cursor, how it's curved. You just need to see that and then click and drag and play around with it. What I want it to do is be flipped though, because it's pointing towards that direction and I want it to point to that direction. So let's go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. All right, it's gonna flip that. And now we can change the color of the arrow as well. So let's do that orange color here. It's going to say, let's rasterize it before it can be edited. You're gonna say, okay, and then click to fill that up. All right, now selecting the move tool again, I want to make this smaller. So I'm gonna go to edit, transform. We're gonna scale this. Click and drag here. Something like that. So it's gotta be within this template. So let's take a look. Okay, awesome. Uh, the the links actually sit like right here, so we do want to make it smaller. So we need to make all of this, we're going to make the arrow as well as the subscribe to channel smaller. And the way I selected both of those things, I'll just show you again, I selected both layers by holding down, I selected one and then I held down control on my keyboard, click to select the other one. And then to transform, instead of going to edit, transform, there's a shortcut on your keyboard. You can go control T on a PC and then I can click and drag this and just kind of give it a bit of an angle here too. Something like that. All right, let's take that off and you can tweak things as you like, you know, adjust them. Uh, if you want to make this stand out more, you could put a shape behind it. Like I'm going to for example, choose the ellipses and you know, you could choose whatever color here and click and drag that so that 
that call to action, we're gonna put that layer behind subscribe to channel. It stands out nicely like so. And then once you tweaked around with it, you're happy with it, all that's left is to save it. So you just go to file, save a copy, and then you'll name it whatever you like. For save as type, go to PNG, and then I'll just save it in downloads right here. And so it's gonna ask you PNG format options. I like to save it as large file size, just so the quality is there. And that's it, so you have it available now wherever you saved it, and that is the file that you go to upload to your YouTube channel. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you need help designing your banner, you can't be bothered to do it yourself, I'd love to help you out. Head down to the description below and shoot me a message. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.